Now, in this word, hello, everybody. I want to talk to y'all about um us all being sisters and brothers in Christ. And we do know that us that really follow Jesus, we struggle. We don't always have um wealth. We're not rich. A lot of us are not rich. A lot of us do not, um you know, we are not materialistically blessed. So with that being said, you guys, what we have to do is if we're going to be like God and we're going to um have his character, we got to love one another the same way. We got to love our sisters and our brothers. We got to love them enough to help them. Yes, help them. When the disciples were together, they were all on one accord. And what they would do is whoever had the greatest, they would sell it and they would put it all in one pot and they would divide it amongst each other so everybody would have what they needed. And whatever was left over after those that were with them, after they had get, got what they needed, whatever was left over, they helped the outside people. They helped the community. They helped uh, other parts of uh, the congregation of the church of the body of Christ. That's what is keeping us um not growing spiritually and not really walking in prosperity. And when I mean prosperity, I mean in a, a, a wealthy place, uh, having more materialistic things and not just spiritual blessings. We are all very spiritually rich. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of us, when we do come to a place of getting out of poverty, we do not go back and uh, help the sisters and the brothers, the people that are in the faith with us. We seem to sometimes leave them in poverty or leave them in that spot. So what I want y'all to do and what I'm going to do as well, um, God is going to put someone on your heart to begin to give to. And it does not have to be much, but it's going to be a person that affects you and that makes a um, an impact on you spiritually. Someone that has spiritually helped you and blessed you with your soul. And uh, what I mean by that, it can be uh, any kind of person that God ministry, a person, a prophet, prophetess, evangelist, anybody that has came into your life to help edify you to get to eternal eternal life to help you go help your soul go to heaven and what you're going to be doing at me myself too god has placed the person on my heart i want to begin to partner with that person and whether they're doing good or they're not doing good but i want to begin to um uh, uh send more of my my resources their way uh more of uh, uh commenting more on certain things that they may have if they post video sharing more i want to sow into what they're doing for the kingdom of god so therefore when they reap i reap you know, some things we have to be connected to and we're losing these divine connections and we're not utilizing them to grow. Because remember, when you are blessed, you are blessed by a person that you most likely are connected to. You ever notice that you may be connected to someone that is spiritually blessed and materialistically blessed. And because they're so blessed and you're connected to them, you're blessed as well. So a lot of times, you guys, we're not putting our money in the right places. Yes, you are definitely to help the needy, help anybody that's in lack, but definitely first, Always make sure your sisters and your brothers that are in the faith with you are good, that they are lacking nothing. Make sure that they're good first. And when you see that they're good in you from, from the ones that you know of, you know, I'm not saying if you don't know them, you can't help them. But if you have extra money or you have extra time or you can uh, uh, send up a prayer for them or whatever you can give from what you have because everybody don't have money. You know what I'm saying? Some people struggle. And uh, I don't believe too much in sacrificial seeds because, you know, uh, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So I believe that it, you give according to what you can give. Like no one is asking you to do something above your means. But when it's on your heart, you know, uh, one thing w that will help you know that if you should give it to a person is that once you seek God about it and he reveals that person to you, you will not rest until you actually give it to that person. You will not rest. That's how you'll know if your money your time, your resources, whatever it is, is um is um is something that you're supposed to give into that that particular ministry or that person. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, it's, that's how you'll know because you won't be able to rest until you do it. And once you do it, you feel like, okay, I did what I was supposed to do. So I pray right now that in Jesus' name. Every person that receives this uh this message, that they be linked to a person that they want to give to Lord, that's giving to them, someone that's helping them and that, that they can be connected to in the spiritual realm. So when you are pouring out your blessings, that they are uh prosperous just by uh by connection, Father God, just because they are close to that person and not even close uh uh in bodies, but close in spirit, that they're united in Christ together, Lord. So I just thank you right now that this message goes out and it's fruitful and that it brings forth um, 
a harvest to each person that is receiving this teaching and this knowledge and this understanding. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So I just wanted, I didn't want to make it long, but some things you have to get out because people don't understand how much it matters to sow into people that actually bless you and help you to prosper. And when I say prosper, you know, I mean prosper in your soul that your spiritual man may grow and that you may see God. Okay, so I love you guys so much and I just thank you that you um stuck around. Amen.